Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? This is my video response to the iPhone 5 versus the Galaxy S3 benchmark test. All right, now, you know, I believe this guy, you know, he did a pretty fair test. I mean, I ran the test myself, and, you know, the iPhone 5 scored much higher. But, um, you know, people are giving this guy a lot of flack, saying maybe he should test it against the Galaxy S3 international version with the quad-core Tegra processor or the new Note two that's coming out but you know he did it with what he had his hands on which was the galaxy s3 which is the uh, closest competitor to the iphone 5 as far as specs and uh, popularity and all that other bullshit anyway i don't have a galaxy s3 quad core international or a galaxy note 2 or whatever but what i do have here is the nexus 7 which has that same quad core quad, <clears throat> quad core tegra 3 processor Okay, and not only do I have a quad-core integral processor in my Nexus 7, I have it overclocked. It's rooted and it's overclocked to 1600 megahertz. So you would think that that would give the Nexus 7 an edge. It's, I mean, it's 1.6 gigahertz versus iPhone 5, 1.2, 1.3 gigahertz, dual-core, quad-core. You would think it's a no-brainer, right? But, you know, this just goes to show you that hardware versus software optimi optimization you know, it's not always the best thing. I mean, you know, sure, you know, Android has the specs, but as you're going to see from these numbers, the software is not as optimized as it is on the iPhone 5, which is running, uh, quote-unquote, inferior hardware, okay? So anyway, enough of the bullshit here. Let's go. Let's turn these on. Nexus 7 is on. iPhone 5 is on, Okay. Now, I'm going to show you here. I don't have anything running. All right, you can see, no recent apps. Only thing that's open. Sorry, I'm using this on my Evil 3D, so the camera's not the best. But no recent apps open. Go over iPhone, no apps running. Okay, make the test fair. Nothing running but the, you know, the benchmark test here. Now, I ran a test earlier. All right, now I'm going to run it again. I'm just going to show you numbers of tests I already did so people don't give me the same bullshit like, I fudge the numbers or whatever. So here we go. Next is seven. All right, let's get that to focus in on here a little bit. 2,337 for final score. All right, next is seven. Okay, next is seven. iPhone 5, let's focus in on that right there. 3,787. Okay, 3,780. <clears throat> excuse me for the iPhone 5 an overall benchmark score okay but like I said I'm not going to bullshit you I'm going to run it all from the beginning I'm not going to just show you some numbers that say so you don't think I made up something somehow so anyway this is go, I'm just going to go right here I'm going to exit off for the next 7 for a minute and go into my app drawer and I'm going to show you set CPU so that you can see that I am in fact rooted and I am in fact at 1600 megahertz like I said it was Okay, 1600 megahertz max, 204 is my minimum. Okay, when I'm not touching anything, it's going to run slow. If I start touching shit, you'll see it goes 1600 megahertz. That's the way CPU works, okay? All right, let's go back to recent apps. We're going to go back to this uh, past mark benchmark test. And let me close our set CPU so people don't go, oh, but you had an app open on the Nexus 7, so that made it slower. All right, that's gone. It's closed. All right, let's focus in on here. Focus in. I'm going to run the benchmark test first on the Nexus 7. doesn't matter when I run it. It's, you know, the final result. It's not a race here. It's just to see who scores better. iPhone 5 ran second. So here we go. They are off. And they're running and they're running. Okay. Move that over some. Yeah, focus in a little bit more on everything. So you can see that everything's running live. No bullshit here. All right, and both calculating the CPU scores. All right, all right, okay. First score we got in here is the Nexus 7. CPU is going to be clocked at 11,697. All right, let me scroll up here a little bit for the iPhone 5. All right, it already left, so I. I I think it was at 14,000, something like that. All 
And as you can see, the iPhone 5 was started second, but it's already at the 2D benchmark. Oddly enough, the Nexus 7 runs the 2D benchmark a lot faster. Okay, now if you look at this picture here, you see how smooth that picture circulated around on the iPhone 5? That exact picture, for some reason, I don't know why it just doesn't run as smooth on the Nexus 7. I mean, look at this. It's, it's chugging. I mean, this is a 2D picture that's being rotated. There's no reason why it should be rotated that slow. Okay. All right, now the iPhone 5 is running the simple 3D benchmark test. Now, both of these both get about 60 frames a second. iPhone 5 gets 60 exactly. Nexus 7 gets 59.9. So, right, that's too close. I'm not even going to bother with that. All right, iPhone 5, as you can see here, is running the complex 3D benchmark test. And it runs it at a constant at least 43 to 47 frames per second. Somewhere around the average is about 46, 45.9 frames per second. All right. Now we're going to move over to iPhone 5. It's finished with the test. All right, Nexus 7. You zoom in over here. It's running the complex. And, I mean, you can already see here just with your eyes. It hasn't calculated the frames per second yet, but you can see it's running a lot slower. I'm going to try to zoom in on that a little bit. Now you see here, 19 frames per second. That's kind of ridiculous for a quad-core Tegra 3. Uh, tablet. I mean, you know, this is only the processor that's supposed to be designed for running complex 3D games, and it can't even. I mean, this is a shitty fucking 3D game that no fucking Tegra 3 should have a pro problem running. Anyway, let's go to the final benchmark scores here. All right, cancel it out. We're not uploading shit there. Fuck. No, no, no. Okay, let's go back to that. All right, 3D benchmark. iPhone 5, 1,724. Nexus 7, this is 3D. 3D benchmark. 831. 2D graphics. Nexus 7, 2,764. iPhone 5, 1,676. Now... This is like the only test that the Nexus 7 meets the iPhone 5. Now let's go here to disk speeds. You got a 12,776 for the Nexus. All right, and you go to disk speed. This is actually not too far. You got 14,094 for disk speed. All right, now, now this is the shit that matters here, CPU. CPU and GPU is the shit that matters when you want your phone and your devices to run games in the house. iPhone 5, 21,010 for the CPU. Nexus 7, 11,697. So, this right here shows you that, okay, Apple wasn't bullshitting about the A6 processor being twice as fast as the Tegra 3. Okay? Now, I... Personally thought it was bullshit, but then I'm just gonna lie here. Eleven thousand six hundred ninety-seven. We're gonna give that a twelve thousand. We're gonna round out to twelve. Let's just give it a twelve thousand. All right. And the CPU and iPhone five, twenty-one thousand and ten. I mean, that's not exactly double, but that's at least seventy-five percent faster. And I mean, and I had to give the Nexus Seven three hundred and three extra points. And mind you, this is overclocked Tegra three quad-core processor. This is iPhone 5 stock, nothing. I haven't done, you can't overclock an iPhone. It's just not happening, okay? Now let's go to the final score. All right. iPhone 5, 3,813. Nexus 7, 2,306, okay? That's a difference of almost 1,500, okay? On average of scores, that's almost an average of 1,500. Like I said, it's not exactly double like Apple says, but it's 75% faster. The fact of the matter is, there's a, a big difference in processor power. And mind you, Nexus 7, this shit is overclocked, right? It's not even stock. So if I had this shit on stock, right, it would, it would have lower numbers than it has right now. If I ran this test with stock values, it would have a lower score. 
So now for all of the people that are saying tested against the Samsung Galaxy S3 International, this is what you're going to expect. That's running the quad-core Tegra 3 processors as well. Okay? Yeah, it might have a little bit double the RAM, but that's just not going to make a huge difference to the point where it matters in the CPU and the GPU. All right? That's going to make things run a little bit smoother when you're running apps and shit like that and, you know, multitasking. But it's not going to make apps run faster just because you have more memory. All right? Even, even if it did, it's still not going to make the CPU run faster. So, in final closing, here we got 2,306. Again, final score. Nexus 7 to 3,813. And I'm getting text messages. <laughs> 3,813 on iPhone 5. Now, mind you, I'm a fucking fanboy. iPhone, Google. It doesn't matter. I just use what I like, Okay. This is my first iPhone iDevice ever. I've been Android all the way through since the G1. So I don't want to hear anybody say, oh, you're a fucking fanboy. You're making up tests and all that other bullshit, okay? This is my first iDevice ever, iPhone 5 and my Nexus 7, okay? Now, the numbers don't lie. iPhone 5 is definitely faster than, I mean, most Android devices. Galaxy S3, top-of-the-line Android phone, you know, it's the biggest competitor to the iPhone 5. I mean, I know the Galaxy Note 2 is coming out, so we're going to see how that one is going to compare with the quad-core Exynos processor. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm no processor geek. You know, whatever. As long as the shit works and runs smooth, that's all I care about. Exynos processor, I don't know how it really compares to the quad-core Tegra 3. I mean, quad-core Tegra 3 is supposed to be the, you know, the top of the echelon in quad-core processors. So this is what I have right now to test it against. The Exynos is, I guess, a newer processor, maybe... To run things faster, so you know, maybe if I can get my hands on that device or somebody else can upload it, we'll be able to test this particular benchmark test since it's like the only one that's on uh, both OS's against each other. But right now, iPhone 5 is kicking ass, man. I mean, you know, I mean, everybody can sit here and, 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 and talk shit, Apple this, Apple, but <laughs> 3,000, let me zoom that in here, focus 3,803. 2,306 and 1,500. Almost, you know, double, almost double, not quite what Apple says, 75%, all right, at most. But anyway, there's your final score between the both, all right? Apple, iPhone 5, it's kicking Android's ass right now. That's all I can say. So, hey, either you can love or hate the video, you can say whatever you want, you can write me a bunch of bullshit in the inbox, but numbers don't lie, I did this test live, I showed you a final result from a test I did prior to running this shit live. So, now you see I didn't do any trickery. There's no editing to this video. This shit has been sh shot straight raw. All right, anyway, I'm done. So, say what you must say in the comments, but iPhone 5, kicking next to 7's ass, rooted, quad-core, Tegra 3, 1600, 1600 megahertz overclock. That's all I got to say. Later.